War. War never changes. But the Fallout game franchise sure does. Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game that imagines a future where events in our timeline's past were tweaked just a little bit. I am Joseph Comparette, and this is a vault Tech sponsored presentation on the timeline of Fallout. It's generally agreed that the Fallout timeline and ours diverged sometime after World War II. The going theory is that the transistor was never invented. The transistor is very important in all of our modern electronics for its ability to amplify electronic signals into something more powerful, but that just doesn't really exist for a while on the Fallout timeline. How instead, people really get into the nuclear age and work on fission technology to power things for a while, as well as good true oil. The Art Deco style and bluesy music also are prevalent for quite some time. Furthermore, aliens and ghosts and Lovecraftian horrors and some folklore monsters, they're all definitely real. Moving on, I'm sure you want to know, what happened to the Cold War then? I'm glad you asked. It kind of didn't happen. The relations between the United States and the USSR were pretty amiable after World War II, but a different communist power decided to take the reins instead, and that was China. Uh, so the proxy wars of the 50s, 60s, 70s might not have happened, but the space race still did, just with some different characters and slightly different time frames. For instance, the first man to walk on the moon, Richard Wade. Also, the United States split into 13 commonwealths for some reason. Everything was fine for about 100 years, and then some very horrible things hit the proverbial fan all at once. First of all, the European Commonwealth, also known as the European Union today, declared war on the Middle East to try and gain access to their dwindling oil reserves. The entire green energy phase didn't really pan out in Fallout unless it was green from radiation. <laughs> We're running out of oil. Anyway, one year later, the new plague hit everywhere. It might have been caused by the United States, but what's important is they used it as an excuse to close their borders. It's pretty similar to the Black Plague, but caused blue lesions instead. And furthermore, seeing all these calamities, the United States decided to in in initiate Project Safe House, where the citizens could find refuge underground in case of an Armageddon, and they needed just that. Uh, that contract went to vault Tech Corporation. That's me. They were responsible for building the vaults. Uh, about a hundred of these were made in about 23 years, which was pretty good. Uh, each of these were pretty self-sufficient, and most of them were powered by somewhere between a operating system and artificial intelligence known as Zax. They could have held about a thousand people, and that would be if they were used for their intended purpose. Instead, vault Tech decided to use all but about 17 of them to conduct some sort of weird social or biological experiment, which translates in the end to your chances of survival in the surface or in a vault are about the same, which is not much. Another important company is West Tech. They researched a lot of things, including the fusion cell technology, which was an alternative source of energy that did not quite pan out as quickly as they needed it to. They were also very good as an arms company, specializing in laser and plasma weaponry, as well as power armor suits, a one-man army that had the firepower and durability to level entire cities at once. They also had a biological division, which specialized in either uh, curing that new plague or making a biological weapon. It started as the former, uh, in which the, the Panamuni Virion project but it quickly devolved into the latter with the forced evolutionary virus, which makes people uh, stronger, more durable, and so much more aggressive. These poor folks from Point Lookout kind of got the worst of both worlds. Not a fun time. Also not a fun time, uh, the Sino-American War. So shortly after the European Commonwealth declared war, the United Nations just collapsed, so no holds are barred anymore. As a result, the United States got very territorial about its oil. There were about, by the 2060s, there were about two sources of oil left in the world. That was in Alaska and beneath the Pacific Ocean, and the United States controlled both of them. And so China was not happy about this and other tense reasons. So they invaded Alaska in 2066, causing the Sino-American War. This went on for several years. At some point during the duration, the United States it just annexed Canada and make things easier. 
and eventually the forces were repelled in early 2077. Not always happy because October 23rd, 2077, the Great War. Uh, it's unsure who actually sent the first volley. It could have been China, sore from their defeat at Alaska, or the United States from receiving false intelligence from their AI, predictive AI units. Either way, pretty much every nuclear-capable country launched its arsenal all at once, and those who tried to seek shelter in vaults could or did. And this entire exchange, the massive explosions caused earthquakes around the world and tidal flooding everywhere, changing the entire topography. And But somehow, three months later, after the nuclear rains that devastated a lot of plant and animal life, including horses, uh, causing a lot of extinction, uh, things went okay, and that's where the games begin. There are a few games in the Fallout franchise that are specifically not canon, like Fallout Brotherhood of Steel and Fallout Shelter, but this focuses on the at least mostly canon parts, and here's just a quick run-through showing all the levels of escalation that is so useful to all the games. Fallout 76. You are a member of Vault 76, and you task yourself with following the Overseer. You eventually eradicate the Scorch Plague that wiped out all of West Virginia shortly before you got out. Fallout 1. You are a Vault Dweller in from Vault 13. You are tasked with finding a replacement water ship so that, chip so that your vault may survive. Instead, you kind of get kicked out and end up destroying an entire super mutant army, based on that forced evolutionary virus that I mentioned earlier. Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel, very different from Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. I know, very good names, no one ever played this one anyway, but this, you're a Brotherhood of Steel initiate, tasked with doing what the Brotherhood does best, which is finding pre-war technology, and that eventually brings you to Vault Zero fighting the Calculator. <laughs> Fallout 2. You are a descendant of the original Vault Dweller, known as the Chosen One, and you are tasked with saving your village by finding a Garden of Eden creation kit, which uses some cold fusion technology just to make Earth habitable again. It, every vault was supposed to be equipped with one. And throughout that task, you eventually go and destroy the remnants of the pre-war government that are living on the oil rig out in the Pacific Ocean that I mentioned earlier. You blow it up, it's fine. This game does not exist, as I mentioned before, but it's quite impactful on the canon. Uh, so its code name was Van Buren. You were a prisoner escaping from prison, and you eventually commandeer a nuclear satellite. All is good. The actual Fallout 3, this is when Bethesda took over. You are the lone wanderer from Vault 101, and you want to go find your dad. You do find him, and you help him complete Project Purity, and eventually commandeer a different nuclear satellite. While in New Vegas, you're an angry mailman who decides the second battle of the Hoover Dam. Very fun. And finally, Fallout 4, you are the sole survivor of Vault 111, and you want to find your son, who was kidnapped recently, as so you think. Uh, eventually you do, and decide the governing body of the entire New England Commonwealth. I am slightly over time, but I hope you learned something. That's all I have. <laughs>